So once you've downloaded and unzipped the skeleton program for students folder and installed it into your network area, you can then open up the program and you should see this. Now, it's quite a large program. It's bigger than anything we've done so far. And this is what is called a skeleton program. What that means is it contains all of the structure of our final finished program, but none of the fine detailed content. Just like a skeleton, it has the bones, but not the flesh. And you'll notice that throughout the program, there are places which say, put code here. And this is where you are going to flesh out this program and write the sections of code to fill in each of these areas. So let's look through this program a bit at a time and see what's going on here. The first thing in the program is an include statement. And this simply tells the program that it should also make use of this other file that's on this tab here. Now, we don't need to worry too much about this file. It's actually for when we want to make tunes later on at the very end of this course. And it just defines a whole series of constants for the different note names that we might use. Next, there's a small section that defines a set of six notes that we're going to use as it suggests when rolling the dice and beeping the score. But again, we don't need to worry about those until much later on. Then we have two constant pin definitions, one for the button that we're going to use to roll the die and the other for the piezo sounder, which is going to make our sounds. Next, we've declared a variable that we're going to use to store the score of our die, the number from one to six. And those are all the things that come before the setup section. So in the setup section are a series of comments telling you what is going to happen. And there is one custom procedure you can see. And you can see that it starts off by defining the pins that are going to be outputs for the LEDs, defining the button pin to be an input, defining the piezo sounder to be an output, and then turning all of the LEDs on so that when we first switch on our electronic die, we know that it's working. Then there's a section for playing an introductory tune, which we'll come back to much later. And then we turn the LEDs off again, ready to start the loop. If we move on to look at the loop section, you can see that we are going to repeatedly generate random numbers between one and six until we press a button at which point we're going to roll the die, display the score on the LEDs for half a second, then we're going to beep out that score, and then if we get onto it, we might wait for the button to be released before we go back around the loop. And that's all there is to our main loop. And below that, you'll see we've designed a set of custom procedures for displaying the number, for rolling the die, for beeping the score, and then at the very bottom, some code for playing an introductory tune, which will be the very last thing that you do in this course. Now that you've had a brief overview of the skeleton program as a whole, we're gonna go on and try and fill in this setup section.